What's up? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts on red pill, MGTOW, and blue pill, all right? <laughs> so for those who don't know, red pill, blue pill obviously comes from the matrix. Um, and obviously red pill is, you know, kind of like the awakening. And blue pill is kind of like living in a world of delusion, not being aware. And then MIG MGTOW is completely unrelated, right? MGTOW is like men going their own way. So I'm gonna be talking about all three of these, gonna be spilling my thoughts on uh, all of them and giving you just a baseline perspective, right? So let's start with blue pill, shall we? So blue pill presents, um, it is like a lot of men in the world, right? Majority of men in the world that fall into this kind of uh, Disney movie narrative of how relationships and love uh, plays out, right? And how it works. And also this Disney movie narrative and idea of like females, right? And their psychology and what they want and what they're into, right? A lot of guys stuck in this blue pill kind of paradigm will have views like, oh, women just like, they just want nice guys, right? They just want guys that are just really agreeable, that'll bend over backwards. They fall into this kind of like idea of like the damsel in distress and you know, women just, women just wanting like a, a man that's just gonna come and save them, right? Often they'll like bend over backwards, do all these things for her and think like, that's what's gonna win her over. That's what's gonna make her attracted. Um, that's what, you know, is, is gonna like, ultimately, you know, like get the girl essentially, um, which obviously is just kind of like based on this Disney movie narrative and it's really far from reality and it doesn't tend to work out well for a lot of these men. Uh, you know, they'll end up just giving their entire selves uh, to women, just abandoning what they actually want. Uh, abandoning, you know, their purpose in life. And they'll just, they'll say things like, you are my whole world, you know, like, um, and they'll also think that, you know, sexually in the bedroom, they'll think a lot of women uh, don't like things like getting their hair pulled or like getting choked or getting slapped or like, for them, it's like, whoa, it's like, they can't even comprehend that. To, that, they, to them, that seems like so fucked up that a woman would want um, a man who's like dominant in the bedroom and stuff like that and throws them around. Like to them, it's just like, what? Like surely that, that's not a thing and surely you'd have to be really fucked up to enjoy that. So that, that's the kind of paradigm to put it, um, you know, obviously it would take a little bit longer to fully explain it in depth, but that's kind of like a, an idea of uh, the kind of paradigm they live in. And obviously they subscribe to this whole idea of, you know, you find a girl, you find the one girl, you know, you don't date too many women at once. You just find the one girl, you settle down, you have 2.5 kids and happily ever after, right? Doesn't work out too well for those guys, right? Now, red pill is kind of like a reaction to this, right? It's, it's a bunch of guys that in the past, uh, a lot of the times they've had bad experiences, right? They've been cheated on or they've been in, in marriages where like the woman just really kind of beat them down and was like kind of, abusive in a sense, like not physically, but like with their words, with how they treated them. And they just felt very like emasculated. So a lot of the red pill community is kind of like a reaction to that. They're, they're very similar to like feminist extremists, right? And I'm not talking about the good type of feminists. I'm talking about the extremists, the ones that just hate men, right? They're kind of like that, but the male version. So, and, and there's some truth to, um, some of the stuff they've stumbled across, right? They'll talk a lot about evolutionary psychology. Um, you know, they'll talk about things like hyper, hypergamy, how women are more, uh, you know, they tend to date up. They tend to date men who are higher status than themselves. You know, about the whole sort of reality that women are a lot pickier than men with who they date and that women have way more options and abundance. Uh, just because they're a woman and how they and they've caught on to that being like this whole Disney movie narrative that runs the whole dating dynamic, right? They've caught on to the fact that, uh, you know, it's normal in Western society for men to kind of be like, oh, you got to win the girl over, you know, she's on a pedestal, right? You got to do all that, which is true, right? That does exist within Western culture. 
Um, and yeah, so they've kind of figured that out and now they, but they take it to kind of an extreme, right? And there's this real kind of like bitter, um, kind of like hatred towards women that is very prevalent within the red pill community, right? And even if they don't consciously admit it and they don't say it, it's just like an energy that is just within that community. And when a whole bunch of guys get together with that energy, it can get very toxic, right? So there's a lot of guys in that community that have a lot of trust issues, right? And they perpetuate crazy ideas that all women um, are just kind of like these biologically driven uh, evil creatures that will just cheat the moment that they see a high status man. And the thing about that, and, and I've seen a lot of guys with these beliefs that subscribe to these ideologies, and it's like they're taking on a belief system, right? They're, essentially, they're taking on a belief system that, uh, you know, all women are evil, that you can't trust them, that they're just like women can't like love a man unconditionally they can only ever love conditionally only love a man when he's like high status and dominant alpha and if he's not they don't and that's just not true right and, and i've experienced in my whole in my own life it's like no there are women out there that are actually good women um, that do love that can love unconditionally that will love a man even when he's down and out and and not feeling great and shit isn't going well in his life uh, there are women, you know, not all women cheat um, and yeah, and, and women aren't, it, it pretty much reduce, it's very reductionist, right? It reduces uh, women and people down to purely like these evolutionarily uh, biologically driven creatures, which we're more than that, okay? We're more than our biology, okay? Like when you love someone unconditionally, you go beyond your biology. We can go beyond our biology, right? Look at like Buddhist monks, like, you know what I mean? It's like, we're more than our biology. So that's the thing, right? It's very limited and it can create a lot of trust issues and a lot of negative beliefs that reinforce themselves. Like I know a lot of guys in the red pill community that subscribe to those beliefs and they actually attract a lot of that in their life. They'll, find, they'll get with a lot of women that actually do end up cheating on them because they believe that women are, you know, evil and don't trust you and they have this hate and resentment towards women. And of course, if you hate and resent women, you're gonna attract less of them, right? So the good part of the red pill is they make you understand that, okay, there is this like imbalance in dating between men and women. Women do have a certain power at the beginning at least in relationships, it kind of flips a little later on. Um, but they do have this power at the beginning where they have a lot more options and there's this idea that you have to like win her over, right? So it's good to realize that because when you realize that you can flip that dynamic in the way you interact and that's what I teach, right? I teach men to get women to chase, right? To flip that whole dynamic, which is good. But the trust issues and the, the beliefs that come with it are not good, right? So that's really the summary on Red Pill. Now, MGTOW, MGTOW is just straight up apathy, really. It's just a bunch of guys uh, that have just given up, right? It's cowardly, really. It's just a bunch of guys that are just really bitter and angry about women that aren't going to improve themselves, that would rather just like try to take some step out and they try to frame it as though it's noble, like we're doing this to fix things, and but it, it's not, right? It's just... Yeah, it's just cowardly. It's just a cover up for fucking apathy and being a little bitch, essentially. So, MGTOW is just, you know, if you subscribe to that, like, really just wake the fuck up, right? Get better, not bitter, okay? Simple as that. And that's the same thing with, like, um, you know, guys who have kind of woken up to the fact that, okay, there is this imbalance. Um, in, in Western society, cool, all right, okay, you, you've woken up to that. Well, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? You're gonna bitch about it all day or you're gonna like fucking transcend and improve, evolve, right? Like, so that, that's all my whole thing. It's like get better or get bitter, right? It's like don't, it's like, yeah, okay, you can be a realist, you can see things for what they are, you can realize that, okay, most women are like, you know, they're going for the top 20%, really, to sum it all up. 80% of women are going for the, the top 20% of men. You know, not just in terms of looks, in terms of like just everything. They're more picky than men, it's natural. So what, do you, what are you gonna do? Get better or get bitter? Simple as that. 
So yeah, that's all my, that's my whole thing. It's just get fucking better. Improve your social skills, start dressing better, uh, fucking gym, um, and just, yeah, social skills are something that can be learned. And that's what I teach all my students. I teach them how to text better so they can set up more dates. I teach them how to be more confident, how to be better on the dates, how to frame certain things, how to create the dynamics that they want in relationships, right? So it's all within your control if you're willing to just get over that resentment and that apathy and that bullshit and just have an improvement mindset, right? You can transform, you can evolve, you can create the relationships you wanna fucking create if you're proactive, right? So that's my two cents. Uh, if you're interested in evolving, right? <laughs> Pardon the pun, then hit me up for the 12 week gold mode transformational. I've got one spot left for next month. Uh, start of the year has been crazy, but yeah, that pro program is fucking insane, right? Guys are getting like 30 dates in the first five weeks, right? That's not uncommon. It's really a mixture of like online dating, getting the photo shoot done, you know, honing in on texting skills, going on the dates. It's really a one of a kind program that is yielding like fucking insane results because Online dating when done right creates the kind of results and abundance that like nothing else fucking can because it's a system, it's a fucking machine, right? So if you wanna, if you wanna create absolute fucking abundance in your dating life, send me an email, it's in the description. Talk to you then, till next time.